Quayle, 35 and 3, and Williams 20 and 1. Jab winnings would be the factor in this fight. With the jab with the body. So that Williams has a couple inches advantage. Head, Trying to get Cuello to lean into an uppercut. His head, Don't pull his head back. Cuello comes in with his hands up high, leaves his body wide open, and punches straight down the middle. Good jab early by Williams. Oh, one, two. The head had hurt him. Quayle was hurt. Straight right. one, two down the middle. Good right hand by Williams. Another good right hand by Williams. Jump on this guy early. Will he do that? Good body shots. It's good that he get through the high guard because Quayle was guarded up high. And Williams went straight through the middle of the one, two. Good right hand by Williams, and another one, the second behind it. Very hard punches. Push his head down, Joe. Break, break, stop. Well, nice Williams push his head down. Listen to him. inviting trouble as he pushed down the head of Cuello. Cuello's left eye, he's all swollen. Oh, he's oh, gone, he's hurt, right hand's gone, he's gone. This is going to be over. This is a big, this is a big, big, big win. It's over. Williams. That's a huge win. That is a huge win. The guys that this guy fought before, wow. That's a huge win, win indeed. Take a look at that. He joins Canelo Alvarez, a champion, as the only guy to stop. He does the first round. Well. First round, wow. And he jumped on it. Wow. He hurt him. He jumped on and it. He jumped on him and took his time, picked the shot, fine. We've Great. seen other wow. situations tonight where guys were hurt early, and the opponent did not jump on him. He did jump. He jumped on him pretty hard. What a night for J-Rock. Rumble. That was a, you know what? From the start of the round, he just come out, let his hands go, get that one, two down the middle, then get, he was hurt from them shots. This Quayle, is, well, Williams, you know what? I'm impressed by Williams tonight. You're looking at Quayles. Is that the guy who was so tough to stop by everybody? Only you one other stoppage. And, I'm you know, impressed. Williams. Really impressed. Take a look at how he does it. The right hand, the, the second right hand. one got through. But before he hit him on the one-two right before that, but the, that right hand wobbled. His legs went. He's hitting him on the ears, hitting him non-stop. The referee's staying close. When you stumble like that, the referee's going to stay really close. But look at this right hand after right hand, uppercut, right hand. Good call by the referee. Good, good. Could, have been, could, have, could have been. You have to be willing. One to two, there is your one two. Straight down the middle of one two, hurt him. Then give himself an angle. The yeah. right hand, right hand. Gone. He's totally gone there. Look at that, gone. And the thing is, you're J Rock Williams. You don't know if you'll get this chance again no. in the fight. So well, that's what he did. He had the chance of a lifetime. And he took it with both hands. That is impressive. Brilliant performance. The cross and Trout. Trout they sitting doing commentating here. We want Trout. We want Trout. We want Trout. Yeah. Let's go. J. Rock you know Williams. The way Williams performed tonight. Why not? Give him a shot. In this. Give him a shot. You know he's got. Yeah. That's his 22nd fight. So at, you know at, what? Why not? At 154, you've got Floyd Mayweather. You've got the Charlos. Charlie. Just uh, beat Cornelius K9 Bundridge. Got Erislandi Lara. Now you've got Julian Williams. J Rock is number seven in the WBC. That's his highest ranking. What happens is you get into the rankings, you get a win like this. You're at most two fights away from a title fight and maybe one. And you get the exposure like this as well. And people want to see you. He beat a guy that was 35 and three. He didn't do that to some no, no, no. chop that off the street. He beat a 35 and three guy like this. He was only stopped once by Canelo, I think. That's it, just by Canelo, mm -hmm. and not in the first round. A pro, a long time. So this is a, a blitzkrieg type of an attack, uh, and this is what gets the boxing world buzzing. 
But I like, I like Williams, what he said in the pre-fight. He, he likes to be in the gym, lives in the gym. He, when somebody's sleeping, he's running. You know, that's a, the mark of a, a true guy who wants to fight and become a world champion. Austin Trout's been put on the spot tonight. Yeah. Wins over guys like Freddie Hernandez and Hugo Centeno Jr. Along with Joey Hernandez. His, his last fight was his longest, by the way, and that was a 10-round win over Joey Hernandez. So wow. a guy comes in off of a 10-round win, and you might be thinking, okay, he's ready for a distance fight, this type yeah. of fight, because a 10-rounder there will set him up for this. And bang, zoom. Bang, Different zoom, story. Does. One toe down the middle, right hand to the top, and fight's over. One of the many reasons why you have to love boxing. Why a story like this can be written tonight, and, and you know, you, you're a fighter, you get maybe, uh, just an average, maybe 20 or 30 nights in your life to write your stories. And this one turns out really well. That's why it's good for the, the PBC to bring boxing back to the to regular television around the world. People get to see fights like this for free. And the exposure is unbelievable. Look at this from Julian Williams. Brilliant one. Did he just... How about that? A statement. He made a statement. Has good been doing made. It. They're calling it Austin Try right now, I see. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 1 minute 33 seconds of the first round. Referee in charge, Gary Rosato, waves off the bot for your winner by technical knockout, Julian J. Ron.